Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and we're back in our factory. This is so fun. I love this game so much. It's like like my favorite game of all time. No joke. Okay, so what did we do last time? I think we did uh, some definite train stuff out in those areas. We forgot to put down radars apparently, which we need to amend. So let's go ahead and take the building train. Hello, there we go. On the building train, let's go to manual mode, please. And we're going to go. And remember, the building train isn't uh, doing too much here. Uh, oh, oh, wow, that's disconnected. How did that happen? Let's figure out why this is disconnected. Oh, it's just literally disconnected. All right, let's just do something like that. That works. Does that fix everything? It does. Okay, we didn't actually forget the radars. We just, yeah. Uh-huh. So let's see. Do we need copper? I think we do need copper, but, but, um, I wanted to go and do some, some things with biters. Wait, that sounded naughty. <laughs> We're not that naughty. We don't do things like that with biters. Um, let me go ahead and just tell the train to go back to the sta train station. Um, I want to load it up with more material we need to go so we did get some piercing rounds which is great um but i think what else do we need we need gun turrets piercing rounds i want to get more rails i think we don't have enough rails to get there so that is we're gonna focus on those oh we have rails never mind okay well then we have all the things and all the stuff never mind we'll go into manual mode and then drive up here and we're going to take <clears throat> this rail line. I'm going to take it up and kind of around these biter nests and just kind of uh, try to interact with this crude oil deposit there. Did I? I did. I got all the stuff. Wow. Gosh, past KOS is great. Holy fuzzy cats. Past KOS remembered all the stuff we need to do. This is great. Okay, so let's take these things and we'll we'll tell the train to come up after us whenever we get to that point. Okay, need to manually take, oh, if you press shift, it does the, the thingies that I don't want to do. Eh. No, what happened there? I didn't press shift. Nigh? Oh, I'm out of rails. Ha <laughs> ha, that's why. I am out of rails. I forgot to put them on my hotbar, so I forgot, I don't see them. That's the main problem there. So I'm going to take all the rails and do I need signals? I do need some signals. So I'll take these from the train. Oh, uh, my inventory is full. That's not convenient. All right, let's take the train up and we'll just drive it to the end of the line here. We can actually just, you know, command it to drive, um, but we have to do so in increments, obviously. Okay. So if we look at the map, <clears throat> Um, what I'm thinking is if we take our quick rails book, we can look at the diagonal thingy majingy and this thing, what we can do here is just have a diagonal coming from this sort of like spot we need to be at. So we're just going to press shift and this is a funny one cause it goes, Oh boy. Oh, uh, that was not ideal. It's fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be terrible. This is actually terrible. Okay, so this one is kind of like you have to do a lot of cleanup with um, with things like this. Um, yeah, we can un unshift click those. All right, so let's take this. Uh, but it is helpful because it will allow you to actually make a good line here. Let's do this one up. There we go. Okay, good, good, good. No. Okay. Fine. Fine. You want to do that? That's fine. Okay. Let's take the train backward here. <clears throat> Reverse. Shouldn't say take it backward. That sounds like a pleb. Put the train in reverse. That sounds better. All right. Let's go. And tree. I think we should have longer axes. I think we should have longer axes. Like we should be able to chop trees like three miles away or something. Hmm. I think that's a better idea. Okay, so 
you go up there. And we're going to delete all of the bad rail copy as we get up there. It's This is a weird blueprint because you can't do things very easily in Factorio diagonally because it's not a diagonal game. It's just straight uh, for the most part. So you have this slight issue with stuff like that uh, where you kind of have to stair step it along and that's what I was trying to do. So, so we can do those as well. Or we can do them with the train later. Hello? We'll definitely do the signals later, I think. At the moment, we really don't need a lot of signals, like the block signals at all, because we're going to have very few trains running in this specific area, because right now the only resource up here is oil. Um, the others, the other resources are, you know, iron and coal and copper are in the other area. So we don't need to actually do much up here with other trains. And therefore, we don't need um, many, if any, at all signals. We will put some in the station and that will help uh, with stuff. But in general, yeah. Okay, so let's uh, get rid of this. I, I went horribly bad when I was doing this. We apologize for that. Also, clear out the stuff that uh, gets deletion thingies on top of it, <clears throat> marks because you don't really want to come back later and just fill your inventory with wood and stuff and rocks. That doesn't work very well. Okay, nice. Okay, so we've managed to clear this section. And we'll go up here. Get this. Let's put in these signals. That's fine. And then let's see where we're going with this. We are going up and across. I think what we can do from here is we take our quick rails book, go to the straight rail section. And again, we're going to shift click. We'll leave a little bit of room for a station and then shift click to the right. Okay, so wherever this intersects with that, that is where, um, where we're going to find our happy place or whatever you want to call it. Oh, geez, no, that's not what I wanted. But also, um, we can keep extending this here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just stamp it, like shift click it down so that we have an idea where the power poles are supposed to be. Because these are basically max distance apart. And it's nice to just use them at max distance. <clears throat> and here we go. Yes, there we go. So shift click it. And then we can get rid of the junk we don't need here. Could probably do that faster with a deconstruction planner, slightly. A slightly. Okay. And then we just try to fix what we got here. Oopsies. There we go. Okay, there we go. That's what we want to go with there. And usually the corners require some amount of cleanup. I feel like there's way too many rails in corners. I kind of wish that those were pared down quite quite a bit. It just feels like too, too many. It's just, It feels messy, you know, like, oh god, we really have to do more of these rails? Are you serious? You know, like that kind of thing. Alright, and this gives us also an exact indicator of which trees need to be chopped so you don't have to guess. Note that at the corners here, now during, you know, as I'm creating these blueprints, um, I have run a red and green wires on the blueprints. Now, I don't have any specific uh, needs for those, um, but they are there just in case you do, right? Just in case you want to do some crazy circuit combination thing. Um, oops. Uh, and note that when you get to a corner like we just did there, those are going to disconnect. So make sure if you need them, just connect them. I'm going to need, if I need them, I will just come back and fix them, I think. 
it's highly likely that I will never use them in this playthrough. Okay, let's get these trees. Trees are the enemy. Do not feel bad about deleting them. They are the true enemy of Factorio, even if they're beautiful. There are some beautiful people and things that are ugly on the inside because they are our enemy. Mm -hmm. So do not be shy about deleting the trees in this game. Okay. Now, I feel bad that I didn't do the rest of the power pulls like from the very beginning of this. That's kind of annoying, an annoying setback, but it's going to be fine. Do not worry. Oh, no. Okay, don't do that. That's bad. You want to make sure that it's exactly on the line or it won't connect the red and green power poles or red and green uh, circuits, uh, wires, whatever. Whatever the heck they're called. It's funny because a circuit is a joining structure of things. And yet we have a thing called a red circuit. And we have wire and cables and things and stuff. Yes. Now, we're going to use a thing from the blueprint book now for the pump jacks. Now this, this is easy. You can see exactly where the oil patches are, but if you're in the middle of a forest or something, it is really hard sometimes to see the patches. So I recommend that you use a, um, let's see, we need to raw resources. No, uh, production. Where is it? Where is it? Help. It's an oil. Yes. We use a blueprint called huge pump jacks. And this basically is all the pump jacks. So if you're in a forest, this is really great. You just press shift and click and it places all the pump jacks down and you can see like where to delete trees and all that kind of stuff. Like in, if, if you're in the middle of a forest, it's very, very handy. So what we're going to do is we're also going to look for uh, our train station. So I think I have a, is it in oil? Base oil. No, that's our oil over there. I don't think I have it here. Uh, I think it's in the train station category. Yes, probably here. Okay. Uh, belted rail outposts. Yeah, that sounds about right. And pump jack station. There it is. Now smelting is different. Okay. Yeah. Pump jack station is where we are collecting oil and then sending it back along the main line. So what I can do here, do we want to put it here? Maybe like there, that would be okay. Um, we could do that. Sure. Why not? Uh, I like it kind of in the middle here. That's kind of nice. Okay. So here is our, our train station. We're going to go ahead and remove some of these tracks. And take them downward so that we can connect a little bit differently here. Um, we can keep the power poles since they're useful. Like this one is good. That one is good. And then we have all of these lovely things. I'll go ahead and just put these guys in. Nice. And these. Nice. Okay. Oh, do I not have any train uh, thingies? You know, let's go uh, click on the bus to call the train and we will tell the train to come up here. There we go. So we can get some more train parts and stuff in it. So now, though, we want to get these pump jacks and they let's just place them all and then we can organize how they're placed in a bit. You can actually just sort of like uh, click and um, and place them. There we go. And then we figure out uh, the other parts. Okay, there we go. Now these can be connected with a pipe because they are transporting the same material out. And these are going to be connected to the pump jacks. Now, it might be good to kind of split this area in half and half go to one set of tanks and half to the other. It really doesn't matter. Looks like the top group might be a good set and then the bottom group. So let's go ahead and, and put these uh, in a way that are is a good way to kind of um, connect them together. 
Now you're going to use some undergrounds. You don't have to use a lot. Um, I tend to like to use squeak through so I don't have to use any undergrounds. Um, but yeah, anyway, so what we do here, the easiest way to do this is to connect these up. Um, okay, let's do this one connected here. Uh, there. All right, there we go. Oh, no, no. Come on. And then what you do is you connect the power later. Um, and the reason for that is so that you can make sure that they're all powered and all the pipes are connected where you need them to go. Okay, there we go. So this is, this is good. That's one set. We'll connect the other set to the other thing. This is what I'm doing is more pertinent to when you have, uh, more pump jacks uh, at the same time, uh, because let's do this on the underside there. Um, and the reason for that is, is, uh, because of throughput of, of the flow of the oil. That's what I'm thinking about at the moment. Okay, there we go. No, bad. Do not do that. All right. Okay. But this is not very much oil right here. So it's really not going to be an issue at all. Whoops. Okay. Oh, my head is itchy. Goodness me. Okay. <clears throat> so, but unfortunately we can't test this because we... <laughs> We didn't bring the power with us, unfortunately. Arr, I'm so dumb. I should have taken the power the whole way. Uh, in any case, though, um, let's get this hooked up. And then we'll drive the train around the circle. And then we'll be in a better position. So let's take the train into manual mode and go a little bit backwards. Let's back up a bit. Just reverse the train. There it goes. Let it go on its merry way. And then what I want to do is we need to do a loop de loop here not a loop de loop but yeah something i don't know what it, what you would call it uh, a turn a turn definitely something akin to a turn i think that's too much there okay there we go and let's just go into the oil loading area because we don't technically need the building train station at all because the building train is never going to fill up with oil. We don't have any liquid cars on it. So we don't actually need to, um, you know, build that far. Okay, let's go there. Nice, nice. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> and then, of course, the opposite thingy thingy. And then here at these junctures, it's very important to do your signaling. So we're going to just do those. Even if it doesn't seem terribly important, it is actually important. Oh, whoops. Should have done it from the end, I guess. Okay, so let's just put in the signals that are required here. And that one is not required. Uh, I should have cleaned that one up. Whoops. It's okay, though. We're all right. Wait, why doesn't that one have a... It does have a thing. Okay, that's fine. Um, why is that one... Is that one at the end? It must be at the end. Yeah, there it is. There's the chain signal I was looking for. Very nice. Okay. I guess while we're going this way, we might as well just take this. Not that we need it. I think we don't have any train stations on our person, so I think we need to organize that a tiny bit. Okay, very good. So now, we now have, huh, yeah, this fun, fun position to be in. Let's go round. <clears throat> and I guess what we can do is just something like this uh, to go and connect to the main line. Because we don't have to be like doing curls, like crazy curls. I think it would be fine just to have this connect here. And let's remove these. And of course, these also have to be taken out. 
for the other side. Just kind of like trying to prevent having all the, the garbage rail that we had. Um, let's choose our quick rails to get the proper spacing. We don't have to proper space this, by the way. Um, it's just a kind of a guideline here for just making it look nice and kind of giving us a better idea of where stuff should be. Like power poles and all that kind of stuff. All right, let's just take all this out of here. We can actually do this stuff later as well. That is another option as in do this with bots, but I don't really want to leave this mess. It's not very big of a mess, so it's fine, I think. We can just clean this up very quickly. Be done with it. All right, we didn't even use all the rails. That's nice. Okay, let's take the train. Okay, let's take power pole. Oh, whoops, I forgot to add this. Okay, then we'll go back. And so, because we need to delete some of these rails here. There we go. And just clean that up because when, when you get bots, they're going to place those ghosts eventually, which is very inconvenient. Okay, let's see. Can we do... That seems good actually good okay very nice just use a shift click for the planning kind of helps you visualize what stuff is going to look like so now these need to be let's just put these here all right and take that there nice all right and we have a turnaround which is kind of great we can um let me take the train and just park here and I'm going to take, are this, is this stuff in the first car? Not really. Not really. Um, it must be in the ba a later car. Some of the stuff that I really use a lot, I try to keep in the first car. Oh, no, 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 no. Train, stop, stop. Manual, stop, stop, stop. Oh my God. Dude, that is not okay. Okay, let's get the, this stuff in here. Like to just delete the garbage stuff there. So train stations are supposed to be in this car, but we don't actually have any, I think. Let's see if I can, can I? No, no. That is unfortunate because we could have just sent a nice oil train up here. But what we can do, we do have oil or we do have the power lines connected in this area. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to do the thing we usually do with oil is just put power poles around these various structures uh, and make sure that they're all connected to somewhere. Yep. And then connect there. Okay. Did this one get power? I don't think that one actually did get power. Oh, it does. It does have power. Okay. And then we'll do the same with these ones over here. Okay. Doesn't have to be fancy or neat. It just has to work. So now let's take the train. Uh, oh, we need this signal there for sure. And that one there. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, I'm going to make sure that we are past the switch so we can go. And we're going to go and fix the break in the lines. That is the most important part here. We also would like to put in a couple of radars out here. We're just going to guess for the first one and then we'll place them at proper points because there is a radar at the oil station. Um, but we don't have power yet. That was the dumbest thing. I should always remember to connect power as I'm going up the line. I thought, ah, I'll build the tracks up and then I'll get the power as I'm coming down. So the biters are on peaceful mode. Um, and that's good for being on switch for sure. It's also good for being on PC. Usually I hate the biters. I don't find them interesting in the least. I think they're boring because... As you play the game, even if you're terrible at the game, you will always win. Um, you have to really fail hard for the biters to outgear you or outlevel you. Um, and, well, I don't, for one. Um, and the other thing is, like, at endgame, they are they're nothing. They don't mean anything. So it's like... It's pointless in any case <laughs> to do biters. It just doesn't make sense at all. Is there no radar there? 
I'm confused. There should be a radar out there. All right. Uh, building train, why don't you go back to building station? And let's see what we got here. We can, we need to go get train stations. Do we actually need to do anything with biters? I think we do the biters with the uh, copper. I think that's the only thing we really need to do with them. So let's go and get, we have plenty of uh, those. All right. Now this oil stuff is going to be at our main base, but we need to put together a, an oil car. Do we have one? We might have one already. Oh, we have the thingy, but no car for it. I should actually um, increase that uh, base station thingy. You know what? I'm going to write that down because I'm going to forget otherwise if I don't. All right. So we're going to, um, okay. Base station oil plus one car because the, um, uh, the oil production facility, as in the base we just did, the thingy we just did is doing the, um, 150. Why do we, Oh my God. A sale at the mall. Holy fuzzy cats. This is too many. Ah, yes. Somebody notified me about this. Actually. I remember them saying that and I did fix it on the blueprint, but yeah, there's a sale at the mall on train stations right now, right now. Do we have any pumps? We do. We have plenty of pumps. I'm going to get some locomotives, maybe. Yes. And I need uh, train tracks. And I need signals. We actually need signals. Um, we have enough of the other stuff. We can actually put these back. So we don't need them for quite some time until we actually go looking for them and we'll get it these oh this is too many okay fluid wagons at the mall right uh, that one is too many way too many actually we need to control them here oh it's on pumps you know what somebody no wait this one yeah there it is pumps yeah this i think somebody told me about this one as well Darn it. Okay. So we have a sale on fluid wagons as well. It's fine though. It will be fine. Um, let's see. Do we care about anything else here? Maybe these. Wait, how did I, how did I fix those train stations? Hold on. It should be this. Yeah. 200 is way too many. Oh my God. 50 is more than enough. So yeah, instead of doing the box limiting, you should do the, um, uh, the, the, uh, circuit limiting. It's much better. Okay. Let's take this stuff up and we will go to the train again and we will build the new oil train. This is exciting that we're actually building the oil stuff, production, getting thingy thingies of joy and delight. Yes, it is good. It is very good. So where are we putting this stuff? It's here. I think this is the oil in. No, no, that's sulfuric acid. Ah, this is not the right one. Oh, this is base oil. Hey, cool. Why is there no train here? Did I not add a train? I guess I didn't add a train. Okay. So add a train. Let's see. Add a train for base oil. Okay. I have that on my list now. Um, by the way, we are using the, the version of the blueprint, like for the, the station that I plopped down a while back. That's why it's not the most updated version, but, um, you will, uh, be able to download the, up, the most updated version. I, I change the blueprints almost every day. So just, you know, feel free and all the things and all the stuff. Okay. So now we have these things. That is good. We didn't find chain signals though. I don't know why that's inconvenient. Uh, we also need to put out those train bits and pieces. Anyway, it's okay. We'll, uh, we'll get there. So train is loading coal. We can vacuum this stuff up. This goes here. 
and get our thingies in. I guess we should, let's send off the train first. That's what we should do first, always. Okay, here we go. All right, so train, you belong to this station. So this is crude oil one. Actually, that should be base crude oil one. Oh my God, why did I, all right. Uh, and rename. You know, you think you get things like done and then it's like, eh, no, 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 no. You almost thought of everything, but you didn't quite, you know? All right. Anyway, go to, um, oh, it's not up there because we don't have mm, thingy yet. We didn't put the train stations in yet. All right, so it's, it's a quick trip. No worries. Doesn't take long. And what we'll do is we'll just put the train stations in and, and maybe we'll get the, um, yeah, for whatever reason, I don't know why we don't have a radar up here. Ah, because we didn't place the radar. Of course, that's probably why. Imagine that. Imagine that. So this one should actually be black. Um, and they are working and we're getting that one in. So let's just take the train. doesn't matter how much stuff is on here. We got how much? Very little. Uh, 50,000? Really? Huh. That fast, huh? That's impressive. Oh, I guess it's been pumping for a while. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. We want to get some sexy radars going on here. Ideally, you should have your entire base, including all train lines, covered with rail. Covered with, uh, I mean, the um, uh, radar. Radar, not rail. Rail 2, to be fair. Rail 2. Um, but yeah, that's super important. Okay, so the second station is going to be... Um, what is that train station called? It's called nuclear power drop off. Oh dear. Um, why is it called nuclear power drop off? How did I fixed that oil station, nuclear power drop off. I hope I'm not using an old version of the blueprint book. Um, anyway, let's fix that uh, in the map mode. This should be called crude oil one. Crude oil one pickup. And if you want to add symbols to the train stations, as I normally do, you can click them from this menu. Just click the little um, thingy icon. So there we go. Okay, so train is now going to go to crude oil one pickup. We're going to wait till full. Full cargo. Um, there, there are fluid things, fluid counts, but I recommend just doing full and empty. That's uh, because fluid also counts for full and empty. Okay, so go to base. All right, and now we are on our way to the base again. Life is going well for us. This is very exciting. Okay, and we now have stuff and things. So now we get to connect these things also here. Okay. And then we have two pumps here. All right, and these oil lines go out here. Now, we have to figure out where we want to do stuff. So these lines here, these are going to take up this amount of space. This here is solid fuel coming from oil. Okay. So if we put down our oil blueprint, which I think we're going to do like around here, this would be a nice big area to do so. So let's see what, how we can fit that in. Let's see, we're at 34 minutes. I don't want to do too much. 
I mean, well, we can. We can, um, we can just do the blueprint and start putting it down. And then later we can, um, talk about how it works. Because that's pretty important, the how it works part. Okay, so here's our oil thing. Um, to the left, you see where those pipes are? That's kind of where the crude oil is going to come in. And it doesn't matter exactly if you align it with things or stuff or whatever. It's, it's just going to be kind of in that area. So we can move the pipes around a bit. It's no problem at all. Um, for things like belts, let's move it below the lowest belt. Uh, or, or it doesn't actually have to be. It could be up here. That's not a bad, not a problem. I think this is good. Let's do this. Yep, that seems fine. Because like all these belts can move down and around and whatnot. They're not, you know, completely stuck in place. So the first thing you're going to want to do is probably build the refineries. Now these f refineries have, why do they have speed modules in them? Oh no. Oh, I realize why they have speed modules in them. Be I th yeah. Mm. I think it was because we were doing a test game and we wanted to test things, but uh, at some point stuff was a bit slow. So instead of building more refineries, speed modules were put in, but they should not be in there. Not for early oil at all or any oil at all. Uh, so that's all right. I'll fix that one. It's another fix. Okay. Um, remove speed modules from oil. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's that. I find that not great. We we did some some things during the test game that were like uh, I would not do normally. Okay, uh, and different people have different ways of playing, so it's like uh, anyway, it's okay though. It's fine. You know, when you're testing stuff, we wanted stuff to go to faster, so yeah, it is fine. But at this stage of the game, you're much better off just building more refineries. Almost at any stage of the game, you're much better off building more refineries rather than um, than adding modules, which you can probably ill afford at that stage. Ah, we should probably get... Pa oh, we're missing a, a few. Oh, those are because I messed it up. Yeah, that's right, of course. All right, and anyway, these are going to be using basic oil processing because that's all we have at the moment. Hello? Why is this pain in the socks? There we go. Copy, paste. So I'm going to repaste these things. You won't have to do the repasting because it's going to be fine in your uh, world. Okay, there we go. Now these pipes are extremely tedious and I actually don't want to do too many of them. Just a few. I don't know how many we're going to need. Let's start out with one refinery for now and we'll add some as we go along and as we're needed because there's a lot of pipes and a lot of things to connect here. We're going to need plastic as well as sulfuric acid initially. And then up here, we are going to be making things like rocket fuel, which we don't have access to yet. Um, so that's kind of something you just keep in mind. Oh, this is, looks messy. Okay, let me just fix that. Let's see. Sulfur belt. Okay, I wrote that down. That's actually iron coming into sulfur. Oh, and I need to mark that mark. Mark for iron. Okay. Oopsies. Uh, all right. Because you might not know. Oh, actually, that one is. What is that one? That one is not iron. This is probably iron. Or is it? No, this is actually going the wrong way. That I need to read that better. OK, so this is coal coming up here. And I need to I'm going to mark these as well. Let's see. Mark coal for plastic. There's, there's a lot of changes I need to do, apparently. Some of these things, like, you don't even notice when you're, 
you know, working on it and testing it and stuff, it's like, ah, oh, yeah, we know what that's for because I've done it a kabillion times. I've played this game a lot. You know, this game is a game that I have played frequently um, through the years. It's been out. So... Okay, hello? I don't have any more power poles. That's inconvenient. Anyway, plastic is a thing we're going to need a lot of. And then let's see, we can take, oh, we have this. So that's nice. We can take the red belts out. Okay. And let's see, I think I, I, I thought I, did I, hmm. I don't know if I gave a belt for oil. Yes, here it is. So here's the crude oil coming in. So we'll go ahead and just start this up by connecting the belt for crude oil. And later, if we need to, we can get more, um, more belts, more, uh, more connections if we need to. Looks like I need some uh, pipe as well. Let's go down and get some pipe and stuff. You know what, actually, I think what I'm going to do is, since we're so close to the end of the episode, I'm just going to go down there and go shopping in the mall and all that stuff between episodes, so you don't have to watch that part of it. I don't know if it's that exciting or not. Um, but I think it's a good time to finish off this episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.